The United States has responded to North Korea's first show of interest in dialogue since the UN's tough new sanctions took effect. Washington is open to talks, though only under certain circumstances. Seoul says the two allies are on the same page when it comes to putting pressure on Pyongyang. Kwon Soa has this report. The U.S. is open to talks with North Korea, according to several U.S. officials responding to Pyongyang's recent remarks suggesting it wants dialogue with Washington. U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for East Asian and Pacific Affairs Daniel Russell says the U.S. has not given up on diplomacy with Pyongyang, but Washington aims to make the regime's leadership realize that there is no possible alternative to credible negotiations on the nuclear issue. According to the senior U.S. diplomat, North Korea should take meaningful steps, namely freeze all of its nuclear activities and make a credible declaration of its past activities. He also suggested Pyongyang follow Iran's path and allow inspections of its nuclear test sites by the International Atomic Energy Agency. Now, despite these conditions, questions here in Seoul are arising about the prospects for U.S.-North Korea peace talks alongside efforts on denuclearization. Seoul's foreign ministry said Tuesday Washington is on the same page. It's not that South Korea and the U.S. have different stances. The door is always open for talks with North Korea. But what's important is that the dialogue has to be sincere. And for that to happen right now, we have to change Pyongyang by putting pressure on it. That pressure meaning the toughest sanctions to date. The ministry said through the actualization of banning North Korean ships from entering foreign ports, enforcement of cargo inspections and expelling blacklisted North Korean individuals, the UN Security Council sanctions have been showing visible results in the first month since its adoption. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.